Hello folks, how you doing? Airbrusher here. Welcome back to Airbrusher's Art. Oh, I learned a valuable lesson today. Leave your cell phone off when you're recording, especially when it's right next to the microphone. Especially when you're more than halfway through. <laughs> Anyways, um, here we go. Um, continuing on with this painting. I changed my format a little bit. First of all, I'm uh, editing it for the... For first for the color and make sure that the color represents more what I'm painting so as you look at it you see the brightness and the darks how I'm how I'm using them and also uh, this video is 34 minutes long and I just grabbed it and yanked it down to 10 no editing I just sped everything up for you and uh, it doesn't look like my hands moving any quicker <laughs> Uh, it was, uh, was kind of eye-opening. I didn't realize I painted so slow. Anyways, uh, in this segment, we're going to go ahead and get these bushes on each side done so we can start working on the flowers that overhang them. So through here, um, through this section, what you're aiming to do is we're putting in these blocks of color. And uh, I'm, I'm not just throwing color down like in a big broad stroke like I did at the very base. Um, here I'm kind of, you know, tipping and touching the pastel lightly and turning it and touching different parts as I move. That's to give a, a variegated look to it to start suggesting all the leaves in the bushes. And uh, what I'm going to do is there's a shape to the bush. Um, here I'm going to go in with some darker green in a second. What I'm doing is, oh, and remember to, and what you see me doing there is I'm wiping my pastel clean. Because now i got enough pastel on there, I'm going to start picking up the previous color onto the pastel that I'm using. So remember to pull your pastel back that you're using and wipe it on your paper towel. Keep it clean and do that often. Now here I'm going in with my darker green and what I'm doing is the bush rolls over towards the shoreline as it gets down to where the water and the bush comes together. And what it does is it gives a nice deep shadow through there and it kind of rolls back up and then it comes back out and then rolls back in at the top of the bush. So it's kind of like a half circle with the deepest part underneath at the water line and so what I'm doing is I'm putting that darker part there to denote where it sinks in I'm giving it depth here what I'm doing is when I, I put the flowers that go over the top of this that hang over and big these big clumps what it'll do is once I get the bush more done and those flowers over it'll give that sense of depth that sense of of you know there's a bush underneath these flowers and a bush goes back into the painting and so that's what I'm doing here and as I work the bush more and you'll see it in the subsequent video clips that will be coming um, I'll do a different dark green going up into that lighter green right there along the water line and I'll darken that so it'll keep that whole thing rolling but I'll come back to that when I'm ready to work in that area. And so here I'm just um, working through my greens and I'm starting to meld and, and push them together, give them better transitions um, and to hold everything much better. And here I'm just doing a little blending. And what that blending will do is it'll take the transition from one into the other. Because remember, I, I don't want to separate it because that, that bush is one piece, but it's, it has different colors. The growth is different. It's catching the light differently in different places. And so it's my intention to set up it to do that. So once I have that done, it kind of sets my placement. So I know where I'm going. And that's all I'm doing here is, you know, and this is one of the other reasons I sped it up because 
Um, I, I realize I'd have a long, hard time trying to figure out how many times differently I could just say that part. <laughs> and I'm getting tired of cutting it up, these videos up, because you're not really seeing the true progression of the painting. You're seeing just the this little tiny section of a bush and I'm done because I paint so slow. So I'm going to do a whole painting sessions now working in my usual style working by section and I'm going to then take that and shrink it down like I did and when I shrink it down all it does is just make everything go a little faster. And so doing that it'll, it'll just make it easier. I, it helps me stay on track to what I'm thinking um, because when I have these long videos then my mind wanders I see 15 million things I could talk about and I really just want to explain what I'm doing in front of me there's a lot of color theory and stuff and that works through all the painting mediums that I, I work in so this is a subject that can be in my entire art series there is these theories on color and stuff and uh, so here with this painting, we're just sticking with um, very simple stuff. I got complementary colors next to each other and coming through each other, mainly the red and green. And uh, it makes those two colors pop. They vibrate off of each other. And that's why it's very, where my focal point is in the middle, where that green and that darker red come together. It's very defined it's very, you know, boom, your eye goes right to it. That's very much on purpose. I, you know, I planned it out that way. So, you know, I'm adding, I'm like, you're starting to see the depth I was talking about. It's the thing I like about um, pastels because, you know, in a way you can think where you push and pull, you can go dark first and you work lighter, like would be traditional. You put your darks in first and you go lighter, then your darks and your lighter. But pastel, because it's dry, you can do you back and forth. You can do your darks and your lights and you can push your dark again. Then you can pull your lights and you can go back and forth until you're happy. That is really one of the most fantastic things about pastel besides the brilliant color and the very expressionist, expressionate way you can put yourself out there. So that's all we're doing here is uh, we're just going to go ahead and push the, the darks and the lights back and forth a little bit till I'm, I'm happier with that. And it's a good way to do things um, because it makes you think about what you're doing. Um, because if you go back and forth too much, then you, you create mud. Um, so doing this, you learn when to stop. You learn to look at it and go, okay, I'm, I'm at that point. Let's, <laughs> let's not do this here anymore. And so that's where I'm at right now is um, I got these little bits of lighter green that I got to put in to uh, build in and define the bush as it goes through the water reflection. And uh, <clears throat> it's a, a good, fun way to do it. Um, the main, the other thing is when you do it this way, when you're, you're pushing and pulling, is you spend a lot of time with the pastel in your hand. And you spend a lot of time working with that. So you get the feel of the pastel. You get the feel of knowing that, hey, I got a lot of pastel here. I need to push harder or, you know, whatever I need to do to get the, the pastel to show, to be part of it. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. I, <clears throat> I don't like the tapping like I'm doing here because I'm kind of back and forth, half S tapping. And I don't like doing that. I don't like that, that knocking sound, the dunk, 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 dunk as you're going. Um, to me, pastel, when you're painting, it should just sound like a scrape. It should, you know, it should be just like painting with a paintbrush. You put it down and you go across where you're, you're painting. And you should do the exact same thing with the uh, pastel. But sometimes I got to put a little texture in there to catch things. And that's, you know, you tap that the pastel against them. Hey, folks, how you doing? Uh, sorry about that. Uh, anytime I do art, I lose track of where I'm at. So I didn't mean to cut it off like that. 
Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. I hope to see you back very soon. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I really love to keep on doing this. Thank you very much.